In this part, we continue to implement DSSHA and WMS where we click Next. The window title becomes a clean up model and it contains several operations that the program performs. where we take all these operations then we click on the clean up model A window entitled DSSHA model check appears in which there is only one error, which is channel feature art that are not erodible exist, which is simple error that can be neglected. Then we click on done. Then close. Then we click on save and go to the following path computer partition f gss edge a project part of wadi al mur results then we type the file name gss edge a with the prg extension then we click on save Then we click next. Then we get to the window or the last step titled run hydrologic module and in it we go to input file and check the path of saving the project inside the project file as we see. To implement the DSSHA in WS program, we press Run Simulation. Then we tick Suppress Screen Printing and press OK. The implementation of DSSHA in WS program begins and the implementation begins with the reading of the, the information the elapsed time is calculated then we wait several hours for the GSS HI in WMS program to take place And here, after several hours, the implementation of the program was completed for the study area with, the, with an area of 143.19 square kilometer for part of Wadi and Mur Basin as the elapsed time for the implementation of the program is 6 hours, 4 minutes and 46 seconds. The implementation of the program required 162 GB of memory in the partition F. As we see. Now to show the results, we tick read solution on exit 
and then click on close. Now, after two and a half hours, the results of the implementation of GSSHA in WS were read and the hydrograph appeared. And this required a volume of memory in the partition C. Its amount of 28 gigabyte, i.e., in the rate of approximately 1 gigabyte per 5 minutes. Now to preview uh, and analyze the results of the um, implementation of the GSSHA in WMS program, we go to the Project Explorer in which we go to the results in GSSHA file and in it we open the summary file by making double click on the summary file then ok the results appears in the notepad which contains a summary of the of the results and in it And in it here, uh, the value of volume of rainfall to overland flow and volume of infiltration water as these two values are equal, which means that all the volume of rainfall on the study area was infiltrated into the soil meaning there is no surface runoff as a result of rain. Also, there is a value of volume of groundwater recharge, recharge which is almost equal to the two previous values which indicates that the intensity of rainfall is less than the rate of soil infiltration for the study area. Then we make a double, a double click on the outlet hydrograph where we find that there is no hydrograph, that is, there is no surface runoff as we say. Then we make double click on outlet sediment where we find that there is no sediment. This is summary of the results. As we have seen in the results of the implementation of GSSHA in WMS for the, for the study area, we find that there is no surface runoff, that is, there is no hydrograph. And the reason for this is that, the, 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 that most of soil of the study area is of the type Sandy loam by 59% and loam by 38%. As for the land cover, it includes 50% barren lands, meaning that the study area has a high basic infiltration ranging from 20 to 30 mm per hour for sandy loam soil. And 10 to 20 mm per hour for loom soil.
we also see it on the internet site located in the following path as we see inside the word file titled HTTP and in it we open the first site above and in it we and in it we go to the to table 7 basic infiltration rates for various soil types and in it we find that the value of the basic infiltration is from 20 to 30 millimeter per hour for sandy loam and from 10 to 20 millimeter per hour for loam since we started to implement the simulation with a small infiltration moisture of 15% or 0.15 the rate of infiltration at this moisture content of 0.15 is, is much greater as for the loam soil it may reach 240 mm per hour at the start of the rent as we see in the following path inside inside this photo is titled infiltration test loom dot jpg where in the seventh column we find infiltration rate in millimeter per hour at the beginning of the infiltration experiment we find that the loam soil is 240 millimeter per hour then after minutes it dropped to 140 and 120 then stabilizes stabilizes at 27 million per hour in other words the infiltration rate at the beginning is very high up to 240 millimeter per hour and since the daily weather data taken from the global weather data for SWAT website located in the following path as we see inside the project file entitled DSSHA project path of Wadi and more which contains this data file and in it we open the excel file with the extension csv for the first station and in it we go to the field title the precipitation and in this field titled precipitation we find that the highest value of rain depth in millimeter is 
0.9 mm. And since it represents the depth of rain for one day, it is on average distributed over the whole day. So the value of rainfall intensity for it is very small with respect to the basic infiltration for the type of soil or the study area. And thus all rainwater infiltrates into the soil and does not produce surface runoff. And therefore we, therefore we need rain data in hours and not the in day in days. And this data can be obtained from the CHRS website in the manner described in the second video of the weather data category where we add rain data for this site in millimeter per hour in, in hours to, to the daily rainfall data in the manner that we will explain in the next parts.